What's up guys? So today on Game Giants, we're going to talk about something we've been waiting for for quite a while now, that if you woke up today and got to see this on your Xbox, then I know you're in the same boat as me and just how excited you are for the new operators, Frost and Buck. Let's check them out. Alright guys, so here it is. The Black Ice DLC has launched, it is now February 2nd. We get two new operators, one's Frost and Buck, both are Canadian operators. And then we also get a new map, which is a, I believe, a ship that's stuck in the Hudson. So it'd be pretty interesting to see what's going on with that. Uh, sorry, Hudson's Bay. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's take a look at Buck first. So, uh, a little bit of a surprise though, as you can see I've been saving up my renown, or my renown, for these operators because I thought they'd cost a lot but apparently if you have the season pass they are automatically unlocked for you it's not you have to you know spend renown still to get them so let's take a look so he's got his KAMRS which is supposed to be the new sniper rifle that's a lot like twitches not like glasses so uh, gonna buy the usual scopes I'm um, gonna buy the compensator of course get rid of recoil as you can see nothing else is really special here um, it's the same as all the other kind of gun unlocks you can get. I know people frown upon it, but I buy it every time. I can take it off later. I always put the laser on. And yeah, so the skins, all the skins that you have are available. Um, nothing really fancy there. Um, I do see down below we have other ones. So that Canadian one looks pretty cool. I kind of really like that one. And uh, yeah, these are all kind of neat. They're nice little tier 5 changes. So that's cool. That's really cool. So anyway, so that's the Cam RS, however you want to call that, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it out, see if that's a new go-to gun. That one's pretty cool too. I like this Black Ice DLC so far. Pretty sexy. Alright, so let's take a look here. So we'll go back. So now we got the C8. Now this is a interesting gun. It's supposed to be a lot more like Ashes rifle. Um, I myself do like the single shot more than the automatic, semi-automatic kind of thing. Uh, but we shall see how it goes. Um, as you can see, red dot sight, because it's the automatic. I don't need that range like the other one. And yes, I'm going to buy the laser. I always buy the compensator, because it's the only one that really does much difference. Um, the, the silencers always hurt your gun more than help it, I find. So I always put the compensator on, because recoil, less recoil is never a bad thing. Ooh, I like that one skin. So anyway, as you can see, same kind of skins. Um, so then we got the MK1 9mm handgun. So I always buy my suppressors for that because I like to shoot out the cameras with them. Um, and of course I put the laser on it. I'm sure a lot of people would get mad at me for that, but anyway. And yeah, so that's Buck. His loadout's not bad. As you can see, I'm very disappointed there are no operator videos for these operators. Uh, I was really looking forward to that. Um, as you can see when you go back to like the other ones like IQ here, she's got her operator video listed there. The new ones do not have them. Which is a big bummer, because I really, really liked the uh, the videos that come out. So anyway, here's Sebastian Cole. Buck, you know, born in Montreal, Quebec. Canadian. And yeah, that's that. Let's see how his weapons pan out when they're in use. Because that front shotgun, as you can see, it can be mounted on both guns. Let's see how it goes. So we got a barricade here. I took it down in one shot. So that's pretty handy. However, if you look a bit further, um, it took more shots for this door. One, two, three. So I think it's also placement, or maybe how far or close you are to the door. I'm going to have to experiment with that and see how it goes. Because, uh, yeah. Another happy note, when you're doing terror suns, you can reload his forward shotgun as well as his regular ammo. Now let's see how it works on people. Alright, we got a guy here. Two shots, felt pretty good grouping. Let's see here. You're in bombers. <laughs> Reload that. Let's see how it works on this guy. Oh, here's a bomber. Alright. I felt pretty good about that. That took him down pretty quickly. But, as you can see here, it's not like Glass' sniper rifle. That's a lot like twitches. And then what you'll so see here... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I put plenty of them into that bomber. He still blew me up. So, it's not as powerful as Glass's, but it's still pretty awesome. Alright, let's take a look at Frost. So, Frost, we got the shotgun, 
you know, don't see much special with the Super 90. See how it feels. I am interested in the submachine gun, however, because it has that really neat side mounted grip, you know. See how the recoil is on that guy. So, of course, the pistols, I'm going to quickly load out with my usual. And, yeah, so I think we'll, we'll start off with the submachine gun when we play, but we'll quickly load this out. Yeah, I'll put the holographic on there. Nice spread shot. Of course, I'm buying the laser. Judge me if you must. All right. So there we go. That's a pretty cool skin for the shotgun. I do like that. So they, they, they have a couple varieties to choose from. A lot of tier fives, though, finally. But I really like that first Canadian one. That's probably what I'll go with. All right, the submachine gun. Only two scope options. Probably go with the reflex. That's what I use with mutes. Submachine gun. Works well. And the laser. Do I want the suppressor? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. Nitro cell and a shield. Interesting to see how that bear trap works. It's going to be pretty interesting. As again, no freaking uh, operator's video. But, you know, you know, Tina. Born in Vancouver, BC. Yeah, go Vancouver. Alright, well let's take a look at this bear trap that we've been waiting for. I've been excited for it. I'm worried because I mean cap cans you can see the laser except for lately <laughs> but this it deploys just like a deploy sh deployable shield takes the same amount of time and that's pretty obvious I mean if you put it below a window maybe they breach they don't see it or below a door I mean we're gonna be looking for that also can you disarm it but check this out the submachine gun very little recoil gr recoil great grouping I love it let's take a look at the map quickly so this ship, so when you do terrorist hunt uh, during the day, it looks like you can come in from a, well, of course, we'll select Buck quickly. Um, we'll probably use the uh, Cam RS uh, for the first couple. Maybe I'll switch. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, you got the submarine entrance, the Zodiac, and the snowmobile. And then if you're defending on this map uh, for a terrorist hunt, or I guess if you're playing multiplayer, uh, you have, let's see here quickly do the loadout sorry about that the maps room the casino cafeteria and the engine so it's very interesting how you, this ship is a lot bigger than I thought it would be um, it's massive and it's actually a really great map I'm really looking forward to getting out there seeing what this has to offer you know it's a whole different change let's enjoy it let's embrace it anyway guys hope this is informative GG guys